All right, so Sneakers is officially calling these the Air Jordan 6 white and black creative. Hey, what's going on everyone? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Today we got a detailed look at the Air Jordan 6 white and black. This is the box. It's very simple. Air Jordan 6 style box, but it's made to look just like the shoe itself, which I think is cool. They've been doing that a lot lately with a lot of retros and personally, I dig it. Now the shoe itself is pretty interesting because uh, originally it was being called the Oreos or the reverse Oreos or Oreo alternates. I can't even remember at this point, but basically Oreo had been slapped onto the shoe as far as like a nickname people were saying that it was kind of like a riff essentially on the original air jordan 6 oreos which i really wish would get a retro but these guys right here apparently according to sneakers or whoever wrote that caption are not about that original air jordan 6 retro colorway of the oreo sixes instead it's supposed to be a play on the 1999 release of the air jordan 4 retro plus colorway oreo which was actually a all black shoe with a cement gray midsole essentially it was a black cement cement version of the Air Jordan 4, even though there is a black cement version, which is the original now known as the bread Air Jordan 4. Maybe this is why there's so much confusion with this shoe and these colors. And you know what I mean? There's just so many versions. People don't know what's what. But anyways, these look nothing like those. I don't know how this is supposed to tie into that shoe, but whatever. Here we are. Now, as most of you guys know, the Air Jordan 6 is a 1991 special. He won his first championship in these bad boys right here. And if you've never played in a pair, I have a performance review right here on the channel. So I played in them so that you didn't have to. Not that they're bad, but they're not great. Now, the outsole here is a classic. This right here just screams 90s. I love all the weird designs. The lack of actual traction is weird, but they weren't half bad on court. The giant Jumpman is really cool. It's actually an outsole that reminds me a little bit of the later model, the Nike Penny Ones, where those also had a ginormous branding logo on the bottom of the shoe. And it's just one of those things where if you were playing basketball and you saw that, you knew what was up. Now moving on up, we have a polyurethane midsole. Encapsulated in the forefoot is an air sole unit, and then visible in the heel is also an air sole unit. They're not the most comfortable shoe, I'll just say that right now. They're fairly brick-like, like most of the polyurethane-based Air Jordans are, at least the retro versions. The originals felt a lot better. It was a different polyurethane. It was more fluffy, but also more susceptible to oxidization and stuff like that, where they would just start to crumble over time. These do last a little bit longer, despite them also, you know, crumbling eventually. Now, on top of all of that is actually a board last, which was interesting and cool to see. So that's something that is not on all Air Jordan 6 retros. Usually they'd been keeping that to some of the more original colorways, but I guess they've been slapping it on all of them. It's probably just easier to make them all one way. But essentially a board last is that OG torsion support. So if you look at this shoe and at the midfoot or at the, the sole or whatever, there's no carbon plate, there's no TPU plate, there's no torsion plate. There's nothing. So in order to keep this shoe stiff and rigid enough for basketball so that your foot doesn't over twist inside the shoe or so that the shoe doesn't over twist with your foot in it is what I should have said. They put a board last in there. It keeps things a lot more rigid, a lot more stable, and that's what it's for. On top of that, they actually sprung and put in a dream cell insole. So that's cool. It's not fake dream cell or anything. Now this isn't great either, but it's better than nothing. It's actually better than the blue stuff. So it is what it is. Now the materials on these, I'm not gonna say are great, but they're very good. So if you like leather, you're gonna like this. It's even got a little bit of a texture to it, like all over, not just the overlay panels, but the underlay as well. It's not a heavy texture. It's more like a very faint look and I really dig it. Now the toe shape is one of those things that I don't love on the more recent retros of the Air Jordan 6. They just look really weird. They're very boxy. They're very bubbly and stuff like that. So some pairs are better than others. For example, I have a perfect pair right here. The right shoe is a little bit better than the left shoe. This one's kind of like a steel toe boot. This one has a slight slope to it. So I like that. I will say that the original version of the shoe did look very similar to this. Again, not my favorite look. My favorite era of the Air Jordan 6 would be that 2008 to 2010-ish run. So the countdown pack, the Carmines, and then say all the way up to those original Air Jordan six Oreos. That kind of toe shape I just think looks a little bit better. On top of that, the rubber right here at the toe kind of goes under the shoe, whereas those versions of the retro, they poked out a little bit. So it made the shoe look a little bit cleaner to me, at least from a toe down view. These guys right here, it looks like the toe cap is getting sucked under the toe piece and it just looks kind of funny. However, again, the materials are fantastic. So if you really like something like this, I think this is good. I think the colorway on top of that is stupid fresh. Like you can't go wrong with just simply white, black or black, white. You know what I mean? Like those are the color options that are almost timeless. Go with any outfit and look good on any sneaker 
sneaker. Now the Air Jordan 6 tongue is a nylon sleeve. Then you do have the little lace cover on there. There's a snap on there as well, so you could tuck your laces behind it. Some people are still like surprised and every time I mention that, but yeah, it's been there. <gasps> You still have the lace lock right there. You've got the Air Jordan 6 style tongue, which I absolutely love. I think this is awesome. You got the little notches right there because this is a front pull tab. And yes, there's also a rear pull tab as well. You got a spoiler back there, which looks fantastic. No Nike Air branding on the rear because it's not an original colorway, nor is it a collab, nor is it some weird hybrid that they decided, you know what? Nike Air belongs on this. Now, as far as fit is concerned, they do fit true to size. Whatever you typically wear with Air Jordan 6s, that's what I would go with. Again, there's a little bit of a, a volume, in my opinion, at least like issue where there's a lot of space above your toes. If you don't like that, you can go down half a size. It will be snug lengthwise, but it'll fit a little bit closer to your foot. And then if you're interested in grabbing a pair of these, they will be available here locally in the Sacramento area over at Phenom at the Doco Shopping Center. They should be available at multiple retailers as well. So wherever you can find a pair, feel free. But with that being said, uh, what do we have for today's question of the day? Is it as good as the last one? Like, it, does it tie into the content? No. Okay. Can you just let me live? Hey, I'm just wondering. I'm just wondering. <laughs> Actually, it's it's another type of Mount Rushmore oh. question. Please name your top five Jordan shoe silhouettes. No color or themes, just your bread and butter top five Jordans. So just the models. Yes. Not the colorways. And I want to say that it would be looks wise, not... Performance wise? Yes. Yeah, that would be two separate videos mm -hmm. or two separate lists. Mm -hmm. um, should I do both? No, God, please, no, 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 no! Okay, so visually, top five. Top five. Number one is the four, period. I think that those are gorgeous. The rest of them is very hard. Because <laughs> you can't leave off the 11 or the 12, or for me, the 13. But then am I confusing that with my love for them on court as well? I don't know. Can't leave off the three. That's five right there. Okay, well then you're out. No, I'm not done. <laughs> I'm not done. That's what I'm saying. You can't just do that. Let me, let me think real quick. You know, these questions are f***ed up for someone like me. My brain goes a mile a minute. So, okay, so if I'm just doing me personally, I'm not thinking about any other sneakerhead out there at all. The fours are number one. Number two, I would say would be the ones. The number three would be the threes. And this does not include team models or anything. Just, no. just the signatures. You know, the colorway thing, throw thing. Things for a loop too, because that would like sway opinions because like some colorways of certain shoes look better than other colorways of awesome shoes so you know okay so four one three honestly those are the only threes that you really need but you get five so you get i know two i know bonus. i'm just saying like those are the three that i i rotate through often mm -hmm. or most often at five i think i'd put the 11s i think four i'd put the 12. four one three twelve eleven yes but at the same time i can change this answer on a different day it just this is what i'm thinking right this second if we're talking about performance and we're talking about only retros you could check this video out right here so i've already done that you're welcome <laughs> She, you didn't, Show them what I did. You didn't see it, but she was just like. <laughs> so yeah, she was like, this is about to be a long ass video. No, it's not. Don't worry. However, I would propose both of these questions to you guys. One, what do you think about these? Do you like the way that they look? I think that they're super solid. Two, feel free to rank by visuals only, not including colorways. Like the grape fives was like in my, I was like, ooh. That would be in a top five, but that would be like a top five Jordan colorway. You know what I mean? So that's a different list. So by model only, by visuals, not performance. So just which one's the prettiest, rank from one through five, the Air Jordan series, one through 38. But yeah, sound off below, let us know. I'd love to know your guys' list. This is hard, it's really hard. That's what she said. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching us. Thank you so much for spending your time with us. We will catch you guys on the next one. So until then, y'all have a good one.